morning everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to put this lovely top together to become a massive dress actually i'm making this dress for myself uh this is the part of the video where i'm going to be doing the uh, stitch up so first of all the, the first i'm going to do is to is to uh, to join my princess seam together i did a video on how to join a princess seam please have a look at the video and you see how i did it so first of all i'm going to do it like this i'm going to turn it like this start from the bottom and i'll stitch from here to my off shoulder there then i'll turn the, on the i'll do this on the other side the same thing as well do it like this and i'll stitch from here to this place if you want to know how to attach your princess seam together, please have a look at my video where I showed how to attach your princess seam step by step. So, as you can see, I've already attached my buster blast together. You can see the, the booby is standing properly. I added some um, uh, wad into it, but I call it interface anyway. I added some interface into it. Then, what I did next was I'm going to add a band to my dress to serve as my shoulder band. So this is the band attached to it. This band is, uh, you know, it's half of my hand hole, which was 4.75 plus for the this for the front the, to go to the back. So 4.75 plus 4.75 gave me, I think, to give me nine point something. Then I added two inches for sewing allowance. So one inch to attach it to the front and one inch to attach to the back of my blouse. So, so having, having said that, so the next thing, I cut out the lining the same way I cut out the front. So this is the lining and I attach it just the same way I attach the front. I did a video on how to attach your, your bustier together. Have a look at that video. So now this is the wrong side of the blouse and this is the right side of the blouse. So I attach it like this, making sure all is equal. Then I'm going to stitch, I'm not going to stitch the handle, I'm going to leave it. But I'm going to stitch from there, there, then I'm going to stitch from there. See, then when I finish stitching, I'll come back and show you what I did. Now I finish attaching the lining to the blouse, so I'll just open it up. So, you can see, so the next I'm going to do here, the next I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to attach my flare. So this is my front of my line. I'm going to iron, I'll iron this later. The next I'm going to do, I'm going to attach my, my flare to the bottom of this like this i'm going to attach my flare here i'll take half an inch here and I'll attach my flare so when i finish doing that i'll come back and show you what i did okay, i've already attached my lining to the blouse so, and the, the thing i did was i stitch after attaching the line i stitch on top here there to secure my lining so the next thing is for me to add the front flare to the front panel blouse so what i'm going to do here is I'm simply going to turn it like this. I'm going to take half an inch at this place, then half an inch at my flare. Then I'm going to be going to attach it like this. This is the right side of the right side of the flare, and this is the wrong side, and this is the wrong side of my blouse. So I just do it like this. I'm going to attach it all through to the end. So when I finish, I'll tell you. I'll show you what I did pattern so i'm going to pull in my tights here at the back and on this side as well then i'm going to stitch it from here straight down i'm going to stitch it from here as well straight down then i will take half an inch on both sides then this the flare at the back i split it into two so i took half an inch here which I'm going to use to attach my flare, sorry, my blouse. 
at the back like so i'll just take it up like this and i'll add it up like this and like this as well then i'll stitch it half an inch here and half an inch i'll do the same thing on the other side as well as you can see i've already attached the zipper allowance and the next thing i'm going to do i've done my that my flare i've split it into two like i earlier said then i'm going to leave one inch for my zipper allowance so what i'll do here is simply to turn in my one inch for my zipper allowance then i'll take my half an inch allowance here then i'll stitch down to this place then after stitching you see that place here i'll now turn it like so you see turn it like so then i'll take my zip and i'll stitch down so i'll do the same thing on the other side see i've attached the zip for the gown from there to there and the long zip let me show you quickly a long zip so done. so now i'm going to add the two blouse together this is the Boste gun. This is the right side. And this is the wrong side. So I'm going to add it up together. And I'll attach my other hook there. Like so. So I'm going to stitch. I'm going to stitch from there, there. I stitch the other side as well. I'll stitch this side. I'm going to put a pocket here in this place from here. I'll stop, then I'll put a pocket. Then I'll stitch straight down. On the other side, I'll stitch straight down. Then this one, I will attach it to the back. My back handle, I will attach it to the back. So when I finish doing that, I'll come back and show you what I did. So I'll take it to the sewing machine now. This is the end product of the of this big bubble gown for myself so uh, what I did was this I did a video on how to create this fringe please have a look at that video where I explain how I did this and also I've attached the, the side and also it has the belt attached to it it's a belt I also did a video on how to create a a band for your sewing project please have a look at that as well so this stone I had some stone on the flowers I'll be buying more stones to have to it but now we are on lockdown so shops are closed so that's it that's really that's the, really the end of the tutorial and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe oh yeah before I forget when I was attaching this, I did not attach it at the edge. I came down by, I think, two inches and I just used my needle and thread to attach. I didn't sew it in. I just used the thread to attach because you can see it's really looking French. So using a, using a machine wasn't really possible for me. So I used, it, I used my needle and thread to attach it. So I hope you like to subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe and share my video. And also, I will see you on my next video. So for now, stay safe, one piece, and bye for now. So friends, this is the end product of the gun. That was the sleeve. You can dress uh, the sleeve or wear the sleeve the way you want and that was the ending the flare and the scarf is running neck which i'll be using to tie my wig or my hair and that's it and if you like this please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and i'll see you on my next video bye for now